Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. All right, so what is Capricorn possibly struggling with? Ace of Swords. What does Capricorn need to look at? Four of Pentacles and the Star. Possible future energies for Capricorn. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. Oh, a new start. I feel like there's there's a new direction. There's a new start for you. It's something that I feel you weren't expecting. Overall energy, the world, definitely positive energy, good energy. What you may be struggling with is the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is new beginnings and new beginnings, a new thought process because swords represent the mental and it's that analytical and a thought process. Struggling with how do I move forward or getting past a situation? What do you need to look at? We have the four of pentacles and the star. I almost feel that it's time for you to regroup so that you can refocus and you can build your your hope back up having that hope and that faith again right having that guidance in that direction four of pentacles is keeping to yourself it's focusing on yourself it's you are blocking energy your your you're blocking positive energy your feeling withdrawn. I also feel that it's focusing on you and taking time to yourself to sort through things. Future energies, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Three of Wands, which I feel is looking towards the future that there are great rewards. I think that's pretty cool because we have the ship here and then we have this treasure chest. You're not there yet, but you can see it in the horizon. You can see it in the distance. You can see that there is new opportunities for you and it's because you restored your faith and your hope and your direction in something. I'm also feeling with this Ace of Swords, if you're struggling with being overwhelmed and overthinking and over processing and sometimes we overdo it, that our brains just don't want to stop, that that's, it's going in so many different directions that we don't even know which direction that we want to go in, that there's a situation that you're overthinking. Um, look at that. We have the Ace of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Magician. I almost feel like you're frozen because you're thinking... Or you're trying to do too many things at once. That you have an idea about something, but then you have a lot of ideas about something. And you're trying to do too many things at once. And you need to narrow it down. I feel like you, you need to narrow it down and decide what is most important to you. Yeah. That's exactly what I was feeling is that you were feeling overwhelmed and that you have so many things on your mind and you're trying to do so many things at once that you're not getting anything done. It's like, which I've said before, is like if you're getting ready to move and you have to pack up your house and you have all of your, you have your bedrooms, you have your kitchen, you have your living room, you have your dining room, you have multiple bedrooms, you have a garage, you have all of these areas that you have to pack up and it's overwhelming and sometimes some people love the challenge and they can get right to it but some people can become overwhelmed by it and it's like where do I even start so I don't want to do anything and I feel like that's what this energy is is that there's so many things going on there's so many things that you want to do maybe you want to do some you want to do start some businesses on your side and you're thinking okay I'm gonna do you know, a YouTube channel and I'm going to do, I'm going to do, um, Instagram and I'm going to do Facebook and I'm going to do, because I'm watching all of these people and they're saying it's so easy and I'm going to do an Etsy shop, but I'm going to, right. And they make it sound so easy and they're like, oh, you just have to do this, that, this, that. And then there you are, you're making, you know, thousands, tens of thousands of dollars a month. Some people do, but some people, 
So I feel like what it is is that you have all of these opportunities and so you start to do a little bit of each, but then nothing really has come through and nothing's happening because you have to narrow it down to what's the most important to you. You have to, perfect, King of Swords, you have to narrow it down. You have to analyze it. You have to think, what can I put the most effort into? What can I really focus on? What do I want to do in the, for the long term? What do I feel I can stick with? Analyzing all of this Seven of Cups, all of these opportunities, all of these things, whatever this that you're struggling with represents for you, whether it's starting businesses or it's packing, like I said, packing up a house because you're getting ready to move, narrowing it down, watch, writing down on a piece of paper if that's what works for you, starting with one room at a time, right? And being like, okay, what rooms if there's a, say there's a extra bedroom don't use that room let me start packing that up because that's not going to affect my day to day and start boxing that up or and then using that room to put all of your boxes into like how can you figure it out how can you analyze it how can it work best for you how can you narrow it narrow it down so that it be, doesn't become overwhelming but yet you feel like you have control of the situation sometimes if we feel that we've lost control of a situation that we're like, why should I even even bother? I just want to give up. I, I don't want to do any of it. It's too much. It's too much on my plate. How can I narrow it down and cut it into smaller pieces? Over here we have the Six of Wands, right? You're feeling like you've got control of the situation because you've narrowed it down. You went through the process. Look at this. And then we have the Three of Wands again. That could be reaching that ship. Maybe you're overwhelmed. Was I see that ship way out there? But how am I going to get to that? How am I going to get to that Ten of Pentacles? But if instead of being overwhelmed with how on earth am I going to get out there, taking that piece of paper and saying, okay, what are the different ways that I could get out there? <coughs> I could wait until the ship comes to shore. I could get myself a smaller boat and have someone bring me out there. I could build a bridge. What are all the different ways that you could do that? Narrowing that down and then seeing, okay, which one can I actually focus on? Which one do I think I can actually make happen? And that helps you to feel calmer. That helps you to feel better. You feel like you have this situation under control. You feel like things, over here you feel that things are out of control. Over here you real, what do I need to look at? How do I narrow it down to make it simple? How do I simplify it? Over here it's making it happen. Restoring your faith and your belief and your direction. Because I feel that over here, you're so overwhelmed, you're, you want to give up. But like over here for the star card, I was also feeling that Hierophant card, which is that faith and that belief and that direction and that guidance and restoring that. All right, so let's get a final message. We have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is somebody who is determined, he is persistent, he is driven, he is smart, he's patient. Sometimes it's hard to be that way, especially if there's something that you want to make happen that you're excited about or you get overwhelmed with, right? You're excited that you're going to be moving, but in order to move, you have to pack up your current residence and that is something big. Um, you're excited about starting a new business, but it's overwhelming because which business do I start? Which one do I do? Right? And same with, say, if you wanted to start a YouTube channel. Opportunities, you can do absolutely any kind of YouTube channel that you want. There's so many options and opportunities, but which one do I do and what do I focus on? Again, the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands has come out three times in this reading looking towards the future and how do you make it happen without being overwhelmed with the distance between you and your destination. To let go of the I can't and focus on the I can't. Over here we have this bridge that is built here over the water. And I feel that that's you is bridging that gap. If you're feeling that loss, if you're feeling that frustration, how do you bridge that? How do you work on that? How do you build it? How do you move on from there? Instead of letting the situation overwhelm you, being like the King of Swords and being analytical is how do I get past this? How do I make 
my Ten of Pentacles happen for me? How do I find that treasure chest? How do I make it happen? All right, so let's get a Star Dragon's Oracle card. We have grief, accepting loss, accepting that maybe if you tried it before or you tried it a different way and it didn't happen, but if you use that to fuel you, okay, moving forward, I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to see things differently. And then we have the self gathering your power, gathering your power up, right? Gather your power up with this magician, gathering your power, gathering your energy, gathering your focus, putting it all together and then using it to make it happen, to find that Ten of Pentacles, to bridge that gap between where you want to go, that distance that's there, right? In this reference, there's a big desert there, but there, or is that water? <coughs> I'm not sure what that is. <coughs> but there's mountains out there, and it looks like he wants to get there, but, but there's this big space in between, bridging that gap. All right, let's get an animal oracle. <coughs> Let spirit be your guide. Let spirit be your guide. I feel like it's those signs and those inner feelings and those signs that are being presented to you that maybe you weren't paying attention to those, but now it's time to pay attention to those to help give you guidance, to help give you that strength to push forward. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Sorry. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.